Welcome back to Bordeaux. I'm doing uh, another roundup of some of the wines from 2006 and uh, a vintage which I find uh, much more easy to taste today, at the summer 2010, four years after the harvest. Well, not exactly after the harvest, but four years later. I mean, I think that these were quite tannic from the outset. They were a bit closed and quite difficult to taste. And of course, always with a great Bordeaux, you need to, to wait for a few years. You need to give them, them time. Now we've come to uh, one of the great chateaux in Bordeaux, which is uh, Louis Lasquez. Most people do agree on that. You know, this is really always on the level, on the level of first growth. And uh, my own experience tells me that this is absolutely it does really belong in there, absolute top league there. If we taste vintages today from the 70s and 60s and 50s and back in there, you know, 30s and 20s, it's always you know, one of the absolutely best wines. And I think that the Bitwood 6 is a really, really successful result for Las Cas. This is, of course, always a um, wine which is dominated by, by the Cabernet Sauvignon. And one of those great terroirs where, where the Cabernet really ripens to, to perfection. And I absolutely love this purity because, you know, that when we get Cabernet Sauvignon, it's never about, in Bo Cabernet Sauvignon Bordeaux, I should say, it's never about just power or concentration. It's about that, lovely purity you do get get on the nose and this is a very very i would say mineral wine we do get those uh, smoky notes or very stony uh, pure fruit with uh, some floral hints and um, then we we can add all of those wonderful attributes we do find in a good border such as cassis and dark berries and uh, there's a hint of something you know in the direction of leather and then we can um, something like tobacco and, and cedar wood as well. So a beautiful harmony, a beautiful purity, and um, at this stage, I mean, normally this is one which requires quite a few years before it reaches its full potential, but it's already very tempting. Oh, that's really good. I mean, it's really, really a mouth-filling wine without being in any way extracted. I mean, it's a really, really fine extraction of the tannins here. And tannins are so elegant and silky and fine. And you do have, you know, what you notice on the palate is really that explosion of fruit down the line by a really, really nice acidity, uh, vibrant freshness. And I think, again, what separates a, a really grand vin from a, from a good wine or an average wine is always that beautiful, persistence and that length and uh, this is really a wine that, that stays on the palate. I'd say once again for a uh, 06 I think it's surprisingly open uh, today. I mean I wouldn't hesitate to uh, pop it open and pour it into the counter 30 minutes prior to service and uh, enjoy it with something, with, uh, some fine, fine cuisine. However, you know, according to my experience this is a wine that develops with, with grace and uh, preferably it should get another few years in the cellar, but it's always a matter of, of personal opinion. So um, if you really want to, you can, you can drink it today. And uh, I just like to round it off with, I mean, for me, this is really one of the great wines of Bordeaux. And I'm, uh, I'm happy every time I get the chance to drink it.